Yep, I lost my drone. And I found it. But it's still a mystery to me. I was on a simple, routine flight through the Naugatuck State Forest. I had been mulling over since I got my drone, good old rover. The idea of flying it through the forest, following the Naugatuck River and the Route 8 Highway north. The final product was to be a northbound flight between Beacon Falls and Naugatuck. At first, it all went according to plan. I parked on a dirt road halfway uh, into the area in question, then sent Rover, my drone, off to the south. He flew until he was past the hills and into the widening valley to the south in Beacon Falls. Then I turned him north. That was for the money shot, so to speak. I flew him past my position and let him go further north. The path of the river and the highway following it wound around the slope of the hills, and I knew that I could only go so far until I might lose the GPS signal. Sure enough, I got a weak signal and stopped the rover from going any further. I was just turning him around, and I, at that point I shut off the camera, I think. So this is as far north as he got. And this here is where he was. That's looking west. He was just below that mountain there. And we're looking south there, and I was between those two hills over there to the right. And he ended up to the left here on the, on the east side of the highway. He ended up about 200 yards up this hill. And that's to the east of where he originated. So that's where he ended up. And that's where he started losing control. Now this is looking further north. And I ended up going about a mile north here to get onto the path. So I can come back down to this hill and look for Rover. And here's the parking lot. Um, on Cross Street, and here is where I enter the woods uh, alongside the highway for about a mile. I have to walk down this path. It's a well-beaten path. Uh, people hike it all the time. And I just follow that down until I got to about where the GPS signal um, gave it to me. And here I am. This is the hill that I had to climb. This is actually was even harder than what you're looking at right there. I had actually had to lean over to the left as I'm walking up the hill, not to slide down the hill as I'm going up. And I just walk around this side of the hill over here, and that's where he was basically located. Um, and you can see the, the highway down below, and you can see the hills over on the west side of the highway over there. Oh, uh, well, I found my drone. Pretty badly damaged, it looks like. And it looks like it's got a broken wing. That doesn't look good. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> the head's got a broken neck, it looks like. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna have to. I can, I can get it repaired. I don't know what it's gonna cost, but I almost got a scratch on it. Let's see what that scratch is. Uh, okay, and I'm up on the hill. The, the uh, find my drone was accurate, which is why I was able to find it, even though. The battery was dead. I'm uh, only about a, less than 200 yards above the highway, but I'm, I'm up, there's a cliff below me, so I'm going to have to go back the way I came, which is on a steep side of the hill. But I still can't figure out it came about 300 yards from that cliff face there to this one. I still think a bird took it, a hawk or something. Well, okay, got to go back. So this is the map that the Mini shows you and that arrow it's where it's located with the GPS and you see down below it says start flashing and beeping unfortunately I had gone too far with the drone it didn't have enough electricity left in the battery and so it wouldn't flash it wouldn't beep I hit that and nothing happened so I had to rely on getting a map and looking at the map there I could point out that that little orange is where the drone was last before it had a problem. And the green dot is where the drone ended up, up on the hill. My location is at the blue dot. And I flew at the pink south to the left there and then back north, which is the red. And this is where the drone ended up. So you can see up on the upper right there, the battery's dead. This is where I, I used the satellite image. And you can see much better where the drone is with the satellite image. It ignored that blue dot, by the way. So looking at the satellite map, I assumed that now that the drone 
image was correct, okay, the GPS image. So I looked at the map, and I could see where the highway splits, and there's a grassy area between the north and southbound lanes. And so I looked at that grassy area, and I figured that if I move from the grass, the beginning of the grass area on the right, which is north, down maybe about 20 yards, and then came straight up perpendicularly into the, into the woods, I should find the drone. So I was able to actually look down at the highway at that point, through the trees, and I could just make out that grassy area. So I walked sideways or, uh, along the side of the hill until I got to that approximate point. And then I started looking around. And I looked down below. I didn't see anything. I turned around and looked up the hill, and I started walking up the hill, and that's when I found the drone. Here we have Rover, my little drone. It's a DJI Mini 2. Uh, I love it. It's treating me well over the months, not years, but just two or three months ago. I can't remember exactly when. And as you saw in the video, I lost it. This is the damage that was done to it. How, I'm still not 100% sure, but this broke. That's a major piece of damage. And the gimbal is broken. The pieces that that connected are off. Looks like they're snapped. I'm not going to try to repair that, I don't think. I already contacted DJI and they said to ship it. I do not have insurance for it. Big mistake. I will not make that mistake again. And I'll find out what it costs to repair. I was convinced that a hawk had grabbed it. It's about the size of a pigeon. And I was flying through the safe forest and uh, I couldn't think of any other reason why it would do what it did, which was it told me the GPS signal was weak, which I was expecting because I'm flying through this canyon type area and I was I knew I was going to be going around a hill and at that point I knew the GPS signal was going to be weak so I when it said that when it told me that I turned I was turning it around and I think unfortunately I shut off the camera and then suddenly it said landing and I'm thinking landing no no don't land please don't land and no nope, landing and the last, again, I was looking through the camera and it was, things were happening and I could see the camera was all shaky and going crazy. I couldn't understand what was going on and then the last thing I saw through the camera lens, unfortunately, again, I didn't turn it on. The last thing I saw was Rover, my drone, was looking up into the panoply of the trees and I could see that I was looking up and looked like it would, like, would look like a birch tree the top of a birch tree I could tell by the leaves and, it, and it's in a, a forest mixed forest but a lot of pines in that area uh, but I didn't see any pine trees I saw the birch tree so I'm thinking okay it's up in a birch tree somewhere down on the ground just below a birch tree but it looked like it was still up in, in a tree so I immediately blamed the local hawks for this, and I've been cursing the red-tailed hawks who, that fly around here ever since. Um, now I'm, I'm not 100% sure it was a hawk. I still like to think it was, but when I was looking at it again, I realized that one of the propellers on the front left wing, I guess you would call it, was missing. And it looks like it was unscrewed. I have to admit that I, while I thought I was taking care of the drone, I thought I was taking care of the drone, I never checked the screws to see if they were tight. This is the screwdriver that comes with it. Uh, so when I realized what, that a screw was missing, I went to the other screws, and each rotor, each propeller has a screw, and they were all nice and tight. This one is missing, 
Um, the screw is missing as well as the rotor. It's not like the rotor snapped off. It looks like it actually unscrewed. Even this one that was seriously damaged, you see here that that's got to be replaced. I was thinking of super gluing it, but if I can't fix the gimbal, there's no sense trying to fix this here. Um, so, I have a spare. I almost lost the screw to it, very small screw. So, what I'll do is, if I, even if, if I send this, and I guess I will send this to DJI, I should try putting in this new. Let me see how it goes in. Assuming it'll go in. I've never tried to replace one of these rotors on there, I've never had to. And there it is. Nice and tight. Righty tighty. Okay, now it's all set again. It's got all eight propellers. But that's not doing me any good now. Uh, again, none of the other screws were loose. This one might have come loose for some reason. I didn't check it. So from now on, before any time, time before I fly one of my drones, one of my drones, I you know, fly my drone, um, I'm going to check the screws, make sure they're not loose. Uh, I still like to think it's much more romantic to, to think that a hawk came down. Plenty of hawks in this area. Okay, I know any film buffs going to be screaming, continuity, continuity. Uh, I had to take a little time off between the last shot and this one here. But like, like I was saying, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I can't say it was a red-tailed hawk or any kind of hawk, although this is about the size of a pigeon. And um, but it was damaged one way or another, and I'll try not to make that same mistake again. Uh, when I first bought the drone, I thought I was going to be careful with it, and I was at first, and I started flying it over water, and then I started flying it over here and there, and into trees and everything, and um, it's no fun being too cautious, so what the heck, you know. So I have to get a new drone. Uh, I'll see if I can repair this one, like I said, and we'll see what happens. Uh, it's a good product. Uh, let's hope, hope they don't charge me too much to repair it. Uh, okay, Rover. Rover is going to the repair shop. Hopefully, we'll get him back soon. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rover meets Sadie. Come on, land. Oh. Hey, can you see that? That's Sadie. My new drone. See a little color there? I decided to paint that on. Hope it didn't void my warranty. Uh, because when I was looking for a rover, the first day I was looking for him, I was only maybe 20 yards away, and I didn't see him. He was either up in the tree or on the ground, but I wasn't far. And I couldn't let him beat because the battery had died. But I figure with Sadie, I'll try to be a little more cautious, but if she gets stuck in the woods somewhere, a little fluorescent orange might be easier to see in the woods. Uh, I'll have to pretty fire a little bit more, just kind of a preliminary paint job. Okay, DJI, DJI don't look. Okay, I hope that doesn't void the warranty. I was careful not to get in anything else, and it's flying. That should be good enough. All right, so... Get yourself a drone, they're a lot of fun to fly. Uh, I'm, I've been using them in my videos. I hope you enjoy them, the people who watch my videos. Uh, I flew over the Hudson River, almost all the way across. Uh, next time maybe I will go all the way. I was flying to the Palisades, but that was for one, my Untermeyer Park uh, video. And I've been flying around here and there, hopefully all, all the time legally. And, um, We'll see what happens, and uh, but they're a lot of fun. All right, take care. Well, this video is a little unusual for me, but if you've enjoyed it, and please watch some of my some of my other videos, and if you enjoy them, please subscribe and hit that notification bell.
Thank you.